Coming up on Innovations. Treating sleep apnea in high-risk occupations can mitigate risk while increasing overall health and decreasing healthcare costs. A personalized education to prepare students for success in college and careers. A look at one of the fastest growing, healthy, environmentally friendly forms of fun, fitness and transportation. And breakthroughs and fire safety solutions are explored. All ahead in the next half hour. I'm at Begley Jr. and welcome to Innovations, an educational series dedicated to informing the public on the latest advancements and breakthroughs taking place across the globe. Throughout this series, we'll explore the significant issues impacting our lives today and discover how we're preparing for the future. Today, many health conditions can be linked to sleep-disordered breathing. Some of these conditions include heart attack, hypertension, congestive heart failure, stroke, diabetes, and more. Sleep-disordered breathing, especially obstructive... Visit www.sleepsafedrivers.com. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Coming up next, watch as Innovations explores education at its core. Today, two out of three eighth graders are unable to read proficiently, and nearly two-thirds of them are below proficient in math. To make matters worse, a whopping 1.1 million American students will drop out of school, and this trend extends throughout the Western world. These are just a few of the many education-related statistics showing how American schools don't always live up to our expectations. Although students learn by seeing and doing best, it's clear that teacher talk predominates in today's classrooms. Now, over the last year or so, I've conducted over 250 classroom walkthroughs, and in only 12 classrooms did I find something fundamentally different, more engaging, richer, deeper, more alive. And in most of those 12 classrooms, what was at play was a rich visual learning experience, if you will. So we fail children simply and clearly if we do not teach them in some of the ways that they learn best. Following World War II, the United States had the highest high school graduation rate in the world. Today, we have declined to number 22 among 27 industrialized nations. American students rank 25th in math, 17th in science, and 14th in reading, compared to students in 27 industrialized countries. Recent research in neuroscience and in cognitive science validates the notion of the pictorial superiority effect, or PSE. In fact, Perhaps 80% of the brain's function is dedicated to vision and seeing and making sense of the world that's around us. It makes sense then if we're going to have an equitable learning environment and an inclusive in learning environment for all that we're going to teach in brain-friendly ways. We're going to tap into that. After spending five years developing visualization products for the education and healthcare sectors, Sensivus realized the potential in using visualizations in learning and decided to focus on education to secure that each child is able to reach their full potential and to make learning fun. Sensivis is a Swedish software company that was founded in 2008, but since 2013, we're focusing on one thing, and that is education. So we enable teachers to explain abstract and complex things so students understand them in a better way. Uh, we do that through our product, the 3D Classroom. The 3D Classroom is a interactive, high-quality visual tool that allows for teachers to navigate through six subjects. Wilson County, one of the school districts using the 3D Classroom, is on a mission to provide a personalized education to prepare students for success in college and careers. Apart from using the tool in the classroom, they are using the 3D Classroom in combination with Microsoft Office Mix to create tailored teaching materials. Is It's a tool. It's a device that allows teachers to create individualized and personalized instruction. We're creating videos for flipped classrooms in which teachers and educators can really reach the student at their performance level and hopefully bring them up higher than where they are. For beginners, it's the basic information. For intermediate, you incorporate a little more detail or in-depth. And then for your advanced students, 
uh, you create enrichment or uh, more, you know, you might have links to more uh, in-depth discussion of the content for them. In the classroom, the teacher can navigate through the interactive visualizations and use their own words and pedagogy to form the lesson. What it allows educators to do is to create a concrete visualization uh, out of an abstract thought, an abstract content, or abstract just words or text that the student sees on the page. And in doing that, the teacher, the students, they can come together, they examine the material you know, holistically as a group, uh, and it gives the opportunity for the educator uh, to ask provoking questions, which leads to comprehensive thought for the student. And it also gives the opportunity for students to question, to inquire, to ask about things that they don't quite understand or they need a little bit more instruction on. As a former special needs teacher and a former principal, I know the importance of enabling teachers and tend to their needs. So the digital revolution should not be about replacing teachers uh, and replacing skills that they lack. It should be about enabling them to reach their full potential. One of the ways that we do that is that we can take uh, the students together with the teacher on a journey from uh, the outside of the body right into the DNA core. The 3D classroom contains biology, uh, geography, chemistry, physics, engineering and mathematics. The 3D classroom does not contain text or sound and is not limited to any curriculum. It is up to the educator how to use it and how to shape or entirely reimagine the learning experience. And how we're going about doing that is having particular educators create lessons that can be shared. Uh, and it's um, very, very much something that you can go across the board. When they create their lessons, they have specific content that's geared towards state standards. Uh, they also have questioning in there. And so what they do is they can post those and then other educators can have access to them uh, and they can change it. They can add more questioning that's more geared toward whatever level their students are functioning on. Um, so therefore, it's, it's able to share across the board. The fully interactive 3D classroom does not contain text or sound and is not limited to any curriculum. It puts the educator in the driving seat and lets their words be the center of learning. At first, when we got the 3D classroom, I started to use quite traditional way as a presenting tool. So I was giving my students the answers and they just listened. But quite soon I realized that uh, there's much more potential in, in this program and I started to uh, give more freedom to the students and I let them to use the program. Uh, they have a full control of the program. They can, they can rotate and zoom the models and I, I just give them a couple of questions and they start to find the answers by using the models and textbooks and internet. There will be a deficit of one million engineers in Europe for 2020. To counter this, countries and schools need to raise the interest for STEM subjects at an early age. Learning comes from within, and when you create curiosity, people, students, want to explore, and exploration creates new knowledge. We continuously develop content in our product, and we base the content development on teacher input. So any school that uses our product can recommend us what to develop what they feel is abstract and complex for students to understand. We also have a close collaboration with the Ministry of Education in Singapore, where we now in February uh, will release uh, our next version based on that collaboration. And that will benefit all our customers using the 3D Classroom. For more information, visit www.sensivis.com. While many Americans appreciate the great outdoors,